Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and mother people of the tube. Hope all today, hope you're feeling grand and all's when you all. Hello there. Uh, today, people of the tube, it is yet another video in the series of me learning to play left handed. Uh, I say, if you missed the first episode, basically what this is is a little challenge to myself to see how far I can get in a year learning to play the other way because I'm awful this way. So if you haven't seen episode one, go and, uh, go and find that. It'll be, it'll be somewhere around. Um, and I just can't do it. It's it basically, I'll say, it's starting again, basically. I'm learning to start again. So I have been practicing, people with YouTube. Uh, not as much as I like to be, because uh, I've, again, been busy with one thing or another and I haven't really had much chance. But I have been playing with it. But again, this, vi this episode's called Blooming Open Chords, because... Am I having a problem with G and D major? Oh yes, I'm having a problem getting my fingers into those shapes. That G is so difficult, and then the D is even harder, especially because I keep killing the, the high E string with um, with my with my uh, middle finger. So that th they'll go on, but this is what will happen. So he just dies. Because what happens is that finger there, you can kind of see, it just flattens itself over. Instead of being up like that, it just flattens itself over. But then when I bring my index finger, my ring finger, sorry, up to not flatten, this finger flattens and lets go of the string. It's a nightmare. Hang on a minute. Can I get it? No, I can't. Hang on. I'm, I've got it. Hang on. No, I got it. I'm having a real problem with that. And the same, the G, the G chord is a real pig as well. But at least I can actually play the, all the, the strings on the G. But I can't, get, I can't play all on the D. Because there's that high E missing. So I'm in a right time of that. Power chords are fairly... They're kind of falling into place quite well, if I'm being perfectly honest. Like... He says, obviously on now I'm on camera, I can't do it. Rock and roll, man. But no, I'm quite I'm quite enjoying doing the power chords thing, but the open chords is driving me to despair. I'll tell you, it's really tough. Um, so just to recap of the song I'm learning, I've set myself the task of, of learning one song, chord progression-wise, uh, and see where I am basically in December of this year. So this is the second episode. There are going to be 12 of these. I don't know. I might even carry this on. I don't know. We'll see where we are at the end of the year, people of a tube. But I might even carry this on and see where we are two years down the line. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I have ideas, but I don't know if I'll, I'll go through with it. But the song I'm learning is one of mine. I really wanted it to be Basket Case by Green Day, as that's the first song I learned on the guitar all the way through. And I wanted to do it again. I wanted, it was kind of like, you know, a new beginning, but kind of like the same thing. Uh, but obviously, for copyright reasons, I can't do that. So I've, I'm doing one of my songs, uh, one of the trio songs called Talk To Me. And I'm just learning the chord pattern, not the riff. I, I'm, I'm not doing the riff. I'm not anywhere near good enough to do the riff. But the chord pattern is this. So it's... Um... <laughs> It's very simple, you know, it's, it, it's not really much going on, but when I put the guitar this way, this happens. Check out my left hand. Every time I start playing this guitar, Queenie starts laughing at my left hand, and I just, I can't, I try not to look at it because it does look stupid, but here we go. So, are you ready? I've just got to go through that chord pattern again. I'm going to slow it down as well. This is another thing as well, Pure 2, I've found, is I, I'm, I'm trying to go too fast. I'm trying to run before I can walk, so I'm gonna try and slow down a bit. I don't I can't even hold the plexum. This is terrible. I could do it way better than this before the camera went on. 
I literally just like was messing around with it before I turned the camera on and now I can't do it. It's very frustrating. <laughs> again. <laughs> Get honestly, that D, I'm having such a hard time getting from the G. Well, I'm having a hard time with the G, to be honest with you. But getting from the G to the D, like my fingers are just so sluggish and it's so hard. But I'm, I'm enjoying it, you know. But again, this left hand looks like a some weird kind of like I don't know seal. It's a flipper. It really is. I'm I'm really It's very humbling doing this people with you, I've gotta say, because I can play the guitar this way fine, flip it over and all of a sudden it's just like you know, all that ability goes goes away. Like check out my check out my amazing solo here. So basically, you know, I'm a beginner again, and I I, I like it. I, I like the uh, the challenge. You know, it, it's it's obviously nice to be able to kind of go back and play this way, but um, I'm back to I'm back to the start. I am back to the start. Uh, Queenie has said there is some progression. <laughs> I was like, have I got any better? Because like I say, I I haven't I haven't been able to play and practice as much as I would like. Purity with, with with certain things here and there, it's been quite busy. And I haven't really had a chance to actually pick up guitar as much as I want to. But um, I don't know if there is much progression, but like I say, those open chords are an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Again, another thing I'm struggling with is I don't know where to put the guitar. Like uh, positioning the guitar is is totally different. Like I, a lot of this stuff I forgot because obviously I've been playing for a, quite a long time now. So coming back straight to the beginning of, of learning to play again, I, I forgot so much stuff. Like how did I learn where the guitar should sit? How did I learn to get my fingers to go? You know, it's 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 really tough because I don't really know how to sit with the guitar I, I find it better if it's kind of leaning forward a bit like if it's kind of leaning against me like this and I'm kind of looking over it it's quite hard to get this hand into positions to do chords especially power chords because like things fall wrong uh, and my thumb on the back of the neck falls into a, a higher position than I want it to be so angling the guitar forward pulling the guitar a bit closer to myself and kind of having it kind of almost flat to me is helping a, a little bit. Especially with a power chord. Rock 
con, man. So, I do feel like there is a little bit of progression. There's not a lot right now, obviously, because, you know, like I said, I had a chance to pick, up, pick, up, pick the guitar up enough. Uh, it's not as much as I'd like, anyway. But uh, this is update number two. This is where I am with um, basically starting again, you know, relearning. I'm loving the challenge. It's really good fun. But again, it is, it, it's crazy to me to go back to this and then realise how much I've forgotten about how difficult it was to learn. You know, even with all the knowledge, I mean, I've, I've got, I know, I know how, what chords are. I didn't when I started. So it, I've technically got a leg up, but not really because there's no technique. Uh, so you can, like, I know all my scales and stuff, but trying to do a solo without technique is, it, it, it doesn't work, basically. It, but like I say, it's very humbling. It's a very humbling experience and um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying having this guitar. This guitar is so nice to play as well, which is which is a, a godsend. Um, like I say, there is a if you've missed the first episode, go back and try and find that one. Um, but like I say basically, I'm going to do one of these at the end of every month. So the next one will be March now, and um, just to show you where I am, you know, if I'm progressing at all. People, tube, what do you think? If you saw the first episode. Um, and then see this now. Have I progressed at all? Let me know what, what, what you think. Because I don't feel I've progressed a lot. Uh, I definitely feel like I've got better with the power chords. Um, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, the, these especially. I I've got no rhythm either. That's another problem as well. My left hand is just this stick it doesn't mo there's no movement in the wrist it doesn't move anywhere it's just like solid mass so it's quite difficult to get anything to flow it's all really jerky as you can hear but again this is where we are this is the, again unless you're ambidextrous um when you do this it, it really is it's, it's starting all over again so uh yeah it's good fun i wonder i i just I keep thinking, I wonder where I'll be in December. I wonder if, you know, will I be able to do the G and the D chord by December? Or am I, am I literally just going to be stuck here for this year? But am I, am I literally just going to be stuck trying to get this G and D string movement down? Uh, G and D major chord down? Is that is that literally going to take this entire year? Um, which would get frustrating. And I'm sure some of these videos aren't going to be me laughing at it. I'm sure some of the videos are going to be getting, me getting quite frustrated at the guitar and, 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 and struggling because my fingers won't behave and stuff like that. But that's all part of it. You know, it's literally all part of learning an instrument in general. Is It is frustrating. It is really difficult to do. But yeah, people too, what do you think? Um, comment section below. Let me know if you think I've got any better. So let's, let's try and do it one more time. And I'm going to go a bit slower. <laughs> needs to be either because one thing I've tried to do I've tried to kind of like mimic what I do with my left hand when I'm playing normal around I've tried to mimic it this way but it doesn't work this way to me is totally different uh, which would make sense it's you know it's, it's different way around so I've got oh well try and put your thumb here or put your thumb there or put your thumb here it doesn't work I need to find a place where it actually works on this side and uh, I'm struggling with that, especially with the G, G to the D. That is that is an absolute nightmare. But we will persevere. We will not be beaten. We will keep practicing. We will keep trying. We will keep going because it's good fun. And I'm really enjoying this. And I say this is something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. Funny enough, since I got this guitar in, well, when would that have been? In 2006, 2007, probably. And so to finally get around to actually doing it is really cool. And to have you lot along, along for the ride is even cooler. 
So, uh, and again, it's a very humbling experience to be able to go from being able to play really, you know, to, to the level of whatever, you know, however well I can. Um, there's my own and, and demons coming out there. Um, to where I am now, it, it's a very humbling experience to go, ah, you know, and, and I do feel that kind of like, unless you're ambidextrous, because that's just not fair. Uh, I do feel that every guitarist, when they get to a certain level, should go back to playing the other way around. So if you're left-handed, learn right-handed. If you're right-handed, learn left-handed. Because it puts you back into the mindset of a beginner. It puts you back to that ability. Uh, granted, you have all your knowledge of, you know, you know, what scales are, you know, what chord shapes look like, and this, that, and the other. And you know the neck and the guitar. But your technique, you've got no technique. And it doesn't matter. You can have all the and you can have all the theoretical knowledge of, in the world, but without the without being able to do it like practically, it doesn't matter. It doesn't go anywhere. It's 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 mad. It really is mad. Anyway, Boo Tube, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Um, do you have any advice for me? Uh, if you've got any advice, let me know in the comment section below as well. Is there any advice you can give me on on where to put my thumb uh, on for the for the G and the D? You know, uh, any any anything you can recommend, maybe. Um, left-handed people as well. Like, you know, when you're playing a G and, and and D chord, where is your thumb sat on the neck? You know, how do you do it? Uh, you know, I, 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 I need some tips. So let me let me know what your thoughts are um, in the comment section below. Uh, like I say, I will be reading. So, um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's it until next month on this one now. Like I say, I'm going to go away and practice and just try and pick this guitar up more often if i have time it, it's it's a nightmare recently with with, with time just non-existent but um but I, i've been doing as much as i can and it's been really good fun but it is a, it is it is quite funny but um it's cool and i love it let me know what your thoughts are if you anyway, if you true all right uh if you like these videos i do on this channel please consider becoming a patron at patreon link to that is down the way as well as link to my music uh, other than that, I will see you again for another video very, very soon. Uh, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and thank you very much, Steve, for watching. Goodbye now.